Hey guys, it's the Auto Hound. Welcome back. I am at a car show here this morning here in Wilmington, Massachusetts. It's literally 11 miles from my house, so it, gotta get up, gotta get out. Uh, this is gonna be a fun one. Um, not many um, exotic cars here. Um, you mean Porsches? There's another one, there's a 911, a 2006, um, owned by a gentleman by the name of Bennett. Uh, Bennett is uh, a very nice man, introduced himself. We're both Boxster guys, or both Porsche guys, so that's always helpful. Um, gonna go walk around and we're gonna check out some of these cars. So we're gonna start here with the beautiful black Corvette convertible. This, I'm guessing here, this has to be an 87, 88, or 89. Not 100% sure when I find out, I will let you know, but I'm pretty sure this is the 87 with the rear tail lights. It is a four speed manual transmission with the overdrive with the tuned port injection. Tuned port injection leads me to believe it's an 86. Now, I'm gonna have to find the owner of this car and find out because it's gonna bother me. Another beautiful C8 Corvette. I had a suspicion I'd see one of these. The rest of the C8 Corvette is the Hellcat motor and the Challenger. Look at some other toys. It came originally with a straight A. Look at this. This is gorgeous. My goodness. Look inside the engine. Six fifty carburetor. Rich, what's up, my brother? I'll go to the park. Look at this thing. Oh, John, I thought Ford Galaxy. Look at the size of this thing. This is a beautiful car. Let's look inside. Look at that. Nicely done interior. Absolutely beautiful car. I love the little turbine looking mirrors. Everything back in the 60s when they were building these cars, they were building them to look like airplanes. So you see a lot of airplane influence, especially on the mirrors, the tail lights, uh, the front grills, especially with these little rivets, or at least what's supposed to look like rivets. Look at the inside of this engine. Very pretty. Very well built. Over here, this is the one that started it all, Ford 100. Not the F-150, it's a Ford 100 pickup truck. Beautiful black paint. Let's look on the inside of this engine here as well. Carbureted. Ford Racing. Just look on the inside of the car. With the wood paneling on the side. Pretty car. Let's swing over to the Corvettes. 
this looks to be the latest. This is a C7, not the C8, not the latest, sorry. I misspoke. This looks like a Z06. Oh, correction, it's a Z51. The Chevy engine emblem on the front. And if you don't know this, uh, Chevy is short for Chevrolet, and for a gentleman by the name of Lewis Chevrolet, uh, he went to work for General Motors way back in the early 1900s. Another Corvette. This is the C6. So the difference between the C7 and the C6 right there. And we are about to see yet another Cobra just coming in. Had to listen to it. F5 Snake. There's a Factory 5. It's a reproduction, but it's beautiful. Yellow Corvette C7. License plate Widowmaker. Come over here. Look at this. This is a Rouse Factory Mustang. So again, Jack Roush, famous race car driver. We've reviewed one of these cars before. It is a supercharged engine. Beautiful color. Nice front end with the Roush logo right there. We'll look at some more fun cars. This is our car over here that I really wanted to take a peek at. But look at this plinth coming in. That's a Barracuda. Seventy-two Chevrolet SS. Yeah, a little Ford Mustang notchback. 5.0. This is a pretty car. I really like the notchback. They weren't as outlandish as the regular 5.0s. Nice simple design, but they were just as fast. With the 5-speed transmission. A couple more cars in here. I'm going to swing over to this right here. This is an AMX made by a company called AMC. But AMX was their racing division. So they decided to stuff this engine into this little tiny car. And this is what you get. You get a really nice car. American Motors. Uh, they went out of business back in the mid 80s just because they couldn't make good stuff anymore. They uh, followed the tradition of Ford, Plymouth, and General Motors, and they made a muscle car. This is their muscle car with the Hurst shifter inside. As you can see, AMX. Here it says AMC right there, AMX. Again, their muscle version. Uh, interesting fact about these cars, one of these cars was used in a Bond movie. Uh, so if you ever say, oh, I drive a Bond car, this is one of the Bond cars, or a specific type of Bond car. Everybody thinks of Aston Martin and Jaguar, but certainly this is um, a Bond car as well. Now we're going to go over here. I'm going to take a picture of this car. 
So that black Corvette, that was in 1987. I just spoke to the owner. Um, interestingly enough, uh, he changed it to 1983 wheels on it. Um, we've seen a bunch of these this year. This one right over here, this uh, Plymouth Barracuda. This is a 71. Uh, again, this is a muscle car. Um, when you're talking muscle car, you're talking Barracuda. Nice little Celine coming in. Mustang over here. Beautiful car. This is the Barracuda. I'm all over the place. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now, to be honest with you. This is a Ford Galaxy 500. And I think they named it the Galaxy because it is so damn big. Here we go. That car has to be 17, 18 feet long. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this is the Ford Thunderbird. It's the new version, or the most recent version of it. Uh, let's get some specs on it. This is a 2003, brand new $41,000. Pretty car. And then we have the DeLorean. Here is the DeLorean with the doors up. You know, John DeLorean created this car. Uh, didn't know how to run a car business, but John DeLorean was a brilliant car designer in his own right. Uh, worked for Ford Motor Company and was a bit arrogant, but he uh, knew his stuff when it came to building a car and building something that lasted. And it's hard to see him with the doors up all the time, so let's just get a nice back view of this car. Look at this. That's gorgeous. They don't want the biggest engine. They have an Oldsmobile. Uh, four-cylinder engine in it. Oh, you put a flex capacitor in. They used to have one of them that used to sell up that fuel deal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this one originally came from California. Yeah. And then uh, ended up in Mississippi. And, and so. um, this is the, again, the DeLorean, and they put a flux capacitor in the car. Yeah, yeah, I, I, like, wish I, I wish I could. That is so cool. <laughs> I know. I, yeah, I mean, what a neat little car. My goodness. You get a hoverboard inside the uh, open hood. Uh, license ain't <laughs> out of time. Back to the Future, of course, most of was what this car was made famous with, but this is beautiful. And this is a five speed, so it's going to have a little bit more get up and go. Look at this candy apple Corvette. Another Corvette. A little Mustang. There's a 93. And this older Firebird 400. With the candy apple red. Uh, if you were a kid growing up when I did, this is a car you looked at like, wow, this is amazing. And see one up close, it's really nice. I believe it has a tachometer right on the outside. Oh, the speedometer, excuse me, right there. Beautiful car. Oh, watch out. Joe, he's taking pictures. <laughs> and he's all in black. What the hell? So this is the 1959 Corvette. You take a look at the interior. This car has been restored perfectly, it looks like. Look at this. Who wants this one? Gorgeous car. Absolutely gorgeous. My God, 1959. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Auto Hound again. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good time watching today's video. And remember, it's about the drive.